this sound, a neighbor gift for under three bucks, something that's going to last throughout the entire year, and your neighbors will still be your friends because they won't gain a pound from this. <laughs> Christine McKay is going to join us with a couple ideas that are going to meet all those criteria. Here we are, neighbor gifts on the table, right? Yes, neighbor gifts on the table. And I have to tell you that every year, you know, it seems like, I don't know, have you guys, have you guys gotten this? You get the, the bottle of Sprite and the popcorn. <laughs> it says, popping in, hope your Christmas is merry and Sprite. Christy and I gave that gift last year. No, no let me just say, let me just say, I, I love a good Sprite. I love a good popcorn. And you know what? It seems like the same neighbor gifts have been recycled throughout yeah. the last 10 years. So I really tried to strain and try to think of some new things. So maybe just give you some inspiration and, and ideas for new things. The first thing that I thought of was, and let me just say, one of the best places to get ideas is to go to a crafter's market and just get some ideas. Um, I, this is something that I, I kind of made a variation of, but what it is is it's a little door, a wooden door hanger that I got from um, Michaels, and they're under a dollar. They're just these little wooden um, door hangers, and all I did was covered it with some patterned paper, and then what I did is I made a little tag that says, Santa, I've been. Mm -hmm. And the funnest part about this is the arrow moves. I love that. That is so, so clever. I've right. been good or I've been bad. Now this project, um, if you go on the website, kmkdesigns.com, I went ahead and made the little Santa for you in the arrow. So all you need to do is cover this as pattern paper, cut it out, adhere it, and you're done. You cut your glue and you're ready to you go. You cut your glue, you're done. Is this, what is this done here? Just like this some is kind just of brad? A little, this is just a little brad that I've attached the arrow onto. So you'll want to map the arrow onto some chipboard or some cardstock to make it a little more sturdy. Yeah and then just attach it with a brad. And then I put it on a little um, bottle of non-alcoholic champagne. Which is so much better than Sprite because... <laughs> it's a little better. And you know what? If you shop the deals, I got this for, I think it was $2.69 um, at, at one of the grocery stores. So together, it's a little over $3. So you'll only do that for the nice. neighbors you really like. <laughs> but separately, they're each under $3. Okay. And so you don't need to do both. You can do one or the other. Um, the next one that I did is, this is... This is really cute. This this is something that I saw at a crafter's market that was very similar and it was $25. So what I did is I went down to my local Home Depot. This is metal? And got a huge piece wow. of sheet metal. And I cut it into, I got eight. And there was a little extra over, a little uh, extra left over. But I was able to cut out eight of these from a piece of sheet metal. What did you cut it with? Did you have them cut it you for you? You know what? Or? I bought some cutting, um, some metal cutting shears, but they were so frustrating. I just used my craft scissors. <laughs> 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 the one thing, that you, the tip that you want to be really careful of is, is that so you do round the corners because it is very sharp. So sharp. be careful when you're cutting it. Do you have to like sand it down or anything like that to make no, sure it's not going to be too sharp? No, not okay. at all. All I did was rounded the corners and, and it's totally just ready to go. Now, one thing that I will, just a little tip with decoupaging, because what I did is I just took a, a, a pattern paper and I decoupaged it on okay. and then I did the tree. For decoupaging, the biggest tip that I can give you so you're not going to have the bubbling is to do each layer and let it dry completely. Do the next layer, let it dry completely. And how I did the tree was... So a little time consuming. It, you know, a little time consuming, but if you're working on a lot of them, you can kind of just go down the row and by the time that one's done, you can go back and start the first one. Yeah, now I interrupted you. I'm sorry. How did you get the tree so cute and layered? You know, it's so easy. All I did is I cut out of a piece of green construction paper, I cut out a large triangle. Mm -hmm. I just found some scrap paper that I had in my scrapbook room and I put strips on on, and then all you'll do is you'll just take your scissors and just cut right down. Oh, so the tree becomes your pattern. Your, the tree becomes your pattern, and you can just decoupage the whole thing I on. I just had this like vision here. Totally you, easy. If you had like a big sheet of this, you could actually cut them upside down trees so they would fit together. You're cutting once, and you're actually getting double the. See, picture that. Do you see what I'm saying? Wow. Yes. Yeah. You're out Got of control. It. Oh, Home <laughs> Depot, here he comes. I'm coming down. <laughs> totally easy. And then of course just punch the holes in it and um, add a little How ribbon, you get and the they glitter, can hang this the bling. up. You, when I was all done. It was all dry. I just added a thin layer of uh, glue where I wanted the glitter to stick. And then just like kindergarten, you know, you just sprinkle yeah. it on, shake, shake it off, it off okay. and there you go. This is darling. So How totally darling? easy. Okay, the next one is my absolute favorite. This is made out of 14 cent tiles from Home Depot. 14 this cents. segment is brought to you by Home Depot today, <laughs> apparently. Um, yeah, 14 cents. And all that you do is you just take a four inch you just uh, do a little pattern, okay. um, a four inch square, and you adhere it on with the decoupage, and then you take this high gloss finish that you can get at any craft, um, any craft store, and then you'll follow the instructions and put a layer over the top of it. Now, now where do you get this gloss? Um, any craft store, they okay. will have it. Um, they used, they were really popular there for a while in in filling in like the little tile. Um, 
tile paintings that, that a lot of women were doing. But you just get it in any craft scrap at bookstore. Um, and to give people the vision, these this could make a, a great set of coasters. That's what it is. Room. Is it's, that what it is? Yep, a coaster? It's, it's a set of coasters. And let me just say, if you don't, one thing that you can do is you can just create the pattern once and then you can photocopy them and just cut them out and redo it. I, I will, in full disclosure, say that I did it on my inkjet printer and the ink ran a little bit. So I would say if you're going to do that, take it to a photocopy store and have it done with a laser printer. But all you do is make it once, photocopy it, cut it out, and you can make as many coasters as you want to for 14 cents. This package makes about six um, coasters. So in all, these are under $3 for a set. I also like the idea of making each one different. So you kind of have a Christmas set, pull out your scraps of paper, and use what you have. Isn't that fun? That's darling. So that one is my absolute favorite one. And then, of course, you want to add like little felt furniture stoppers on the bottom just so that they don't scratch people's tables. Um, the last project that I had was a little Christmas journal that you can do. And this is even fun just to make for yourself. But all it is is it's a, a, a composition book that you can get these for like a dollar. Mm -hmm. And I just covered it with some scrapbook paper. And um, I just personalized it by putting their name at the bottom. You can do a little tag on the back that's created by. And once again, all of these instructions are available. Um, it has uh, all of the cutouts. Cute little tabs there on the yeah, side. Yeah, isn't that, that fun? And all, all of the, the tabs and the little, a little poem that goes in the front and all of the little labels are in the instructions so all you have to do is just cut them out and it's kind of fun because I actually have one of these at home that I've always, that I've done and it's so fun to pull out every year with the Christmas tree and you read back and I've got some going back from before I even had my littlest and just reading like our wish list and what we wanted for Christmas that year what we got and it's really fun so, so all it becomes a family Christmas becomes journal a little family Christmas journal that they can pull out and fill right just write a little bit about every year and in the back there's a little keepsake pocket that you can just put the little tabs in there so they can add the tabs as the next Next year comes along. And the great is thing so is, of cute. course, so all mean. the tabs done for you, all templates. Done for you. Everything you see here, pretty much, you can just go to the website and find how you can get the templates for it. Do it easily like that, another three bucks. Of course, we've got links on our website as well. You get the complete so instructions cute. and the templates from Christine's website. That's K, letter K, McKayDesigns.com. If you can get that, you can always, of course, go to our website for the link, too. Great ideas. Thanks, Christine. No more Thank sprites. You. No more popcorn. Not Darn. The popcorn. There's, no, the there's nothing popcorn. wrong with it. But all right. Let's Christine, get out of the box. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay, we all like to be liked, right? But what do you do when other people's approval really becomes a personal need? Dr. Liz calls that constant need for approval one of the biggest obstacles we all face in our lives. We're going to talk about how to avoid approval addiction next.